So hi, Micropuncture here. Well, I just recently showed you how you can extract some amoeba from some decaying and rotting wood. Maybe you've already seen that video that I published some time ago. Uh, but today I want to take it a level further. And here you see a picture with, as a matter of fact, many amoeba at the same time because today I would want to show you how you can grow amoeba yourself at home uh, so that it's gonna be much easier to find them uh, under your microscope and uh, as a matter of fact I was so successful that I could see actually five or sometimes even six amoeba just by looking uh, through through the microscope and uh, how do you do that well we have to of course provide a little bit of food uh, to the decomposing and to the rotting wood and then uh, we we can hope uh, that we're able to multiply those amoeba that are already present. How do I do that? Well, I am fused a coffee filter and we are pretty self-explanatory here. Um, I simply cut it out. Um, in this case, I'm using uh, two filters, uh, but I think tissue paper should also work fine. And uh, I'm going to actually uh, scratch some of the decomposing wood uh, into um, the wet fil filter paper or on top of the wet filter paper. And uh, then I have to be a little bit patient uh, because what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to add a little bit of food, which is a crushed wheat grain or a cornflake or oats will also work. Uh, I just added that and I placed a lid on top of the petri dish and then I had to simply wait. And then it's a little bit of luck of what you're able to find. Uh, well, what I've done is, is I simply placed right next to the decomposing wood, I placed a piece of crushed wheat grain and oats. Uh, so basically leftover from my breakfast. <laughs> and uh, then I put the lid on top and this is basically what I saw after a couple of days. Um, yeah, um, an amoeba uh, moving around uh, and as a matter of fact uh, quite fascinating and interesting to observe and this one of course is a little bit in time lapse. Yeah, so basically uh, it now it means uh, to stay patient. Of course I did not only uh, amplify amoeba this way uh, but of course many other microorganisms like uh, nematode worms I found a whole bunch of ciliates and, and so on. Yeah, after a few days I took a small amount of the uh, yeah um, of the food of the oats which was kind of very soft already and uh, put it on my microscope slide. If you do that yourself, I would recommend, why don't you just use a toothpick? I think that's much better because I had to later on disinfect and clean my tweezers again. It's not completely unnecessary. Um, yeah, of course, uh, I added a little bit of water here and then of course um, a uh, cover glass has to go on top here and then everything can go uh, under the microscope. And uh, this is basically what I saw. And uh, again, a little bit in time lapse. And if you look very carefully, you can see several of these amoeba moving around, scavenging the food. All of those, all the, all of those other clumps that you see uh, here, that these are mostly also food particles, uh, starch uh, primarily from the wheat grain. Um, and uh, in between, uh, you can see in the background, you see those uh, little darker dots moving around. These are bacteria and those bacteria are also a food source for the amoeba because sometimes those bacteria actually feed on the starch and so the bacteria start to grow um, and then the amoeba can also feed directly here on the bacteria and still after a few days it really started to look very disgusting and there was not much left over yeah and I also put a little bit of the wood itself under the microscope again and this is where I also saw different uh, type of amoeba so you see that uh, it's a little bit of luck of what you're actually growing here um, and there is plenty um, to to explore here well at this time of course I would like uh, to invite you not only to subscribe to this channel but I also am going to publish a newsletter. Many people have already subscribed to the newsletter. In the description you can find a link uh, to this newsletter and of course I also would like to thank all of my patron supporters uh, for making all of these videos possible. I want to wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.